Hello everyone, I hope you had a nice April. As we all know, May is at our doorstep. So, I decided that it was the perfect time to plant for May. In this month, on the first we celebrate May Day, which is also known as International Workers Day. And it commemorates the struggles and gains made by workers and the labour movement. Apart from that, those living in U- in the US, Canada, Japan and the other countries who celebrate Mother's Day in May, don't forget to buy or even make your Mother's Day gift to celebrate Mother's Day on the 12th of May. But the day that I want to um, specify or zoom in on is on the 21st of May. And there is a very important international event. Now, can anyone guess what that is? If you guessed T-Day, you are correct. Okay, I know, some of you may be thinking, seriously, you got us hyped up for tea? But at least, in my opinion, tea is better than coffee. And to all of the coffee lovers, I might, I might just plan something during October when it's coffee day for... And make it the theme of coffee. But looking at what I've drawn so far. You guys might be thinking. Why is she going on and on about tea. Whilst on the actual spread for the month. You're drawing pink and purple flowers. Which I also get is very confusing. But I do have an explanation. So me being me. Instead of drawing vintage tea sets which would have been used in the Victorian times, I decided to combine flowers and teapots as it gives a very amazing representation of May and it is definitely 100% not boring anymore. So obviously I had to draw green leaves but apart from that the whole spread will revolve around brownish pinks which contrast very nicely. Again, looking so far, it seems like a flower basket, but you have to be patient so that it can all collect together. And as you can see, I'm just drawing some leaves right now, and now I'm just about to start. Yeah, I'm almost finished with the leaves, and I'm just using a couple of different shades of green so it all doesn't, like look the same so we have a nice variation of colors but just finishing off with that and now I'm drawing a nice little tulip on the side and again back to green and another shade of green I have a lot Now, for the lettering, I chose a light brown for the main colour with a darker brown as, okay, so I'm just gonna, I've used bubble, uh, like a bubble writing, and I'm using a darker brown as a shadow, and using a white marker to add on the highlights to give it a nice little 3D effect, and to pull together the teapot, because it doesn't look like one right now, I'm using a nice dark brown in this shade. It's a very dark brown, brown. So I'm using that to pull together the entire shape, so it doesn't look very out of place, and it certainly doesn't look like a flower pot anymore once you've outlined it, and it gives it a more fuller look. So that's the front page for this month's spread. Now. Moving on to the gratitude log. Again, I'm using uh, the same font and the same shades. So I'm using this light brown shade and it's in the shade Warm Caramel 256. And I'm just colouring it in. And for the shade, uh, the shadow bit, I'm using a nice dark brown in the shade Barn Red. And... Whilst I'm finishing that up, I'm also going to, again, use a white marker for the highlights. And 
Now I'm using uh, some shades of pink to make some blocks on the page because I don't want my page to be very empty. Because, but in my gratitude logs, as some of you may notice, I don't like to make lots of um, details on it because I like to keep my gratitude log nice and um, like very less details on it because I want this is the place where I want the most space for writing. And I'm just using a couple of different shades of pink and adding like a very light peach brown in there as well. But just finishing that off and then right there is the gratitude log complete. Now I'm moving on to something that I haven't done in my spreads before and it's this thing called the brain, brain dump so some of you may know but like this is like basically the opposite of what a gratitude log is so it's where i like pile out my negative thoughts and things that like kind of annoy me a bit and it's just so i made this a bit more detailed than the gratitude log but by adding a flower on the side because that will just like make me feel I feel like looking at flowers, things like that, they make me feel very nice. And looking at the little details, they make me feel very happy. So that's why I'm also adding a flower on there, which um, I'm just going to colour in soon. But just finishing off the lettering again, I am using the same font for the brain dump with the same shades of markers. And I'm using these to add in the tea effect uh, because tea is generally brown and pink for some reason but I'm just colouring in that flower right now and I'm I'm just finishing it off quickly and as you can see I was for some reason I always do this but I like to make my life hard first before making realising that action I actually can make it easier so first I'm using the um, the marker side and when I realised I have a brush pen I can finish it much quicker let's do that instead so that's why I switched around the pen for a bit and then I'm just using a couple of different shades so I use the first I use this pink marker in the shade pastel pink 17 and then I'm using a slightly dark it's a darker pinkish purple and then I'm using a beige color to fill in the leaves and just adding a few details as well and it looks like a uh, like i've cut the flower looks like i've cut it open i cut it open in half and like you're looking at all of the details inside that's why it's a bit more it's a very detailed flower so it's taking a bit of time but i'm just using green like uh, two different shades of green and now again like the gratitude log i'm making blocks so i have a lot of space for writing but i'm not adding any numbers for this one because I don't know if I I might, hopefully I might have a full happy month and I won't need to write anything in there. But if I do, I might, so I don't know which days I might need it. Anyways, moving on to my absolute favourite spread page of the month, the reading log. And some of you may be thinking, yep, I knew she was going to say that. She always says that. And you guys are right. I always say that because I just absolutely love reading. As... English teachers say reading is like opening a book is like opening a door to another world and I think they're very right I love reading so much so that's why I like to make my reading logs very complicated but and very detailed as well so as you can see I made quite a few flowers on this page and I'm just drawing in a flower and I also use this in my teapot because I want to keep like a nice like selection of flowers and just that so then it looks very neatly placed and like well collected together and yes i am using the brush pen this time i did not forget and i did not use the markers for the petals as i, as I have done many times before which is very annoying sometimes and i'm just coloring in the leaves with some green dark green and not exactly a dark green but like a darker shade of green and then just filling in the spaces with a lighter green and that just pulls the whole flower together but I think these colours that I've used so far they're very nice and they contrast with each other and they clash very nicely and is so far the overall looks have been quite nice 
and now um this time i'm using like a sort of like a different layout and instead of normally where i write down all of the books whether i like the name of the books whether i like them or not i'm doing a different setup where in every week because uh, overall generally in months there's four weeks so i've made four little sections and these flowers borderlines that i made are to like just like uh, separate them and in that i'm going to choose a book um throughout the week that i read and my favorite book and i'm going to give like a little i guess you could say like a summary but like a detailed like a small like description of what the book is about and like what my thoughts were on it why i liked it so much and just going to talk about that so it's a bit more um like nicer so instead of writing both books i only write the books that i like so it's only it's for four weeks because generally this as i've said before there's like about like four weeks in every month so just week one week two week three and week four and now we're moving on to the habit tracker again um i'm using the same font that i used before and for this um flower i'm going to be using the uh, a flower that i used before in the teapot at the beginning of the page and i'm just using this i'm adding like fruit and the 31 cycles in total and then throughout the month i will be circling uh, i will be cut shading in um the things based on the based on whether i've done those five habits or not and normally i do four habits but this time i've added a fifth habit cooking which is also another one of my hobbies that i really like so i decided to implement it on my spread this time and i hope you really like the habit tracker page but <sighs> now i'm uh, just going to move on to the strategy tracker and again same font and just finishing that off and this time i'm also using that same block theme in the middle and for that as you can see i use some shades of pink to add the block theme uh the blocks with different colors in the middle and i'm also making a flower a little corner border on the side and i'm using the five subjects maths obviously english science history and art uh but some of you may not know but my favorite subject is history i really like it because it's very enjoyable but anyways more on that later this is the that was the study tracker now moving on to the mood tracker now again same font and this is so some of you may might have been throughout the spread i thought this the theme was teapots why isn't there any teapots or teacups on there so that's because let's just say that all of the teacups were called for an assembly at the end of the spread that's right let's just say that that's what we'll end it but now i'm just uh, going to take you through the the little like spread that we made throughout the month so that's the gratitude and brain dump and now we're flipping over onto my favorite the reading log and i want you guys to tell me actually tell me to you guys tell me in the comments which one was your favorite uh, page of this spread for the month mine was obviously reading log and i think my second one the study tracker i think it's very very nice design but thank you for watching this video I hope you have a wonderful May and see you next month. Bye.